The Canal and River Trust and the Environment Agency welcome you to our waterways. This film is about mooring safely. Before you set off, it's a good idea to think about where you want to moor at the end of the day. Navigating at night is not recommended, so plan ahead. Many riverbanks are private property, so do not moor against them unless you have the owner's approval. Similarly, don't moor on the non-towpath side of canals without permission. You also shouldn't moor within 25 metres of locks or movable bridges, near a weir, under bridges, near bends, at water points, in winding holes or at canoe portage landings. Always consider other waterway users when mooring up. So don't moor on boater facilities unless you're using them. If you can, try to leave space between moored boats so that anglers have access to the water. In some busy areas, this may not always be possible. You also shouldn't moor against grab chains or safety ladders. These are there to help people get out of the water in an emergency, so it's important they are accessible at all times. Once you've selected your mooring space, it's time for action. The golden rule for mooring is to take your time and approach the mooring slowly. You are expected to moor side on unless signage tells you otherwise. Moor up using bow and stern ropes. Don't use the center line to moor overnight, as it can make your boat unstable. Center lines are only for temporary use, such as working a lock. Make sure everyone on board knows what they're doing. It often makes sense for the fittest member of the crew to step off the boat and tie up. Make sure you're wearing shoes with a good grip and have the ropes ready. Everyone on deck should wear a life jacket and hold on to the boat in case of a sudden stop. Be careful of the wind too. This can affect how manoeuvrable the boat is. Don't use your arms or legs to fend off the boat. You could get seriously injured. Using other items, such as boat hooks, can be dangerous too. Never jump, but always step off the boat, even if the ground looks dry. The mooring can be slippery and distances hard to judge. This is when you are most at risk of falling into the water. In busy areas, you might have to double moor against another boat. It's always best to get permission of the other boat owner before doing so. If you do moor alongside another boat and have to leave your boat, make sure you leave your phone number so the other boater can get in touch if they need to. Some moorings are easier to manage than others. Mooring on rivers requires extra attention. You should moor with the front of your boat facing into the river's stream. This gives you more control as you slow to a halt. If you're heading downstream, this means you'll need to pass the mooring and turn your boat around. The same applies if you have a very strong wind behind you. If it's a tidal river, you should always moor facing the tide and avoid mooring to the bank overnight. Keep an eye on your mooring ropes. You might need to leave extra slack to allow for the rise and fall of the river. If there aren't any bollards or rings, use your mooring stakes if possible. Don't try to hammer into concrete or other hard surfaces. If the ground is soft, check the stability of the bank and watch out for signs of underground pipes or cables. Position the stakes as far from the bank as you can, but don't tie your ropes across the towpath. Knock them in to about three quarters of their length and make sure they're firm. Mark them so they are clearly visible to other towpath users. In some locations, for example mooring against dock walls, there may be a high step between the boat and the bank. In these situations, Take extra care getting on and off your boat, as there is increased danger of falls. You'll find more advice on useful knots and how to tie them in the Boater's Handbook. If you want to take your boat handling skills to the next level, 
consider taking a training course from an accredited provider such as the RYA. Please also read our Boater's Handbook before you start your journey for more helpful information and advice.